Good day all, I wanted to do a video on a new cab I just installed on my uh, John Deere X360, it's a 2008. And the model number of this cab from John Deere is the LP55438. And supposedly only fits uh, 2016 and newer, but fits perfectly on mine, as you can see. Uh, Seems to snug around all the cab. There are vents in the front, which is one here, and then it vents out to the back panel here. All this area here. All this area here. And the cab looks pretty smart. It's held by magnets on this side and the bottom. There is a zipper to open that door if you wish to open part of the window or completely. And the back is fully enclosed and uh, it's got nice uh, brake lights or type tail lamps on it, the reflective. And I put three weights on my tractor, it seems to work best for weight. And this one has a nice door to it, as you can see. Beautiful door and the zipper also opens up for the window if you want to let more air in. I'll open up the door and let you look inside. As you can see it's a uh, Lots of room to work with, does not interfere with any of the uh, pedals or levers that you have to operate. Lots of room and uh, the inside is very, very, it feels very spacious. And it's not, it's a little wider I believe than the tractor, but not that much. And uh, they're held on the bottom with clips that fold with the material and you just pull on these buckles and they tighten it all up there, does a good job. They have a sleeve here to pass all your, your controls through here. And the cab can be cleaned uh, with a special uh, cleaner for plastics. I use Plexus with a microfiber towel and it seems it leaves a nice little film on it and then very shiny and I also use Plexus on my cab. This cab here, as you can see, the paint looks new and it's 11 years old. Maintenance is key. The snow blower, I just want to talk about the blower because the shoes wore out on it. But what I did, I installed like a, a skid underneath it with pop rivets, countersunk. And what I used is this uh, old uh, snowmobile slide. Remove part of it here on the right side. And I kept one edge only because it didn't fit in between the two. And then heated it and pop riveted it to the shoe. And there's the product I was talking about to clean the windows. And here is the cab manual, the LP55438. Cab is uh, pretty smart looking. I really like the fact coming in out of the snowstorm or whatever, staying dry. Because uh, it was coming in sometimes like a snowman, you can't help but blowing in the wind sometimes because there's a home or a car there. So you got to blow around it. I want to talk also about these chains while I'm at it. I bought the rubber ones and they're not very good. They slip on the ice. Uh, I bought them to protect the driveway sealer that we put on there, but I think I'll go back with my chains or maybe even stud those and it'll work. So you can see the, uh, the roof line of it. It's a really uh, nice improvement to the machine in winter time for doing some work outside there. I'm really happy with it and hope uh, this video helps you out to uh, make your choice on purchasing a cab for your little John Deere. Have yourself a great day. Bye for now.